Celebration. Celebration. What is going on, everybody? Dave K here for some food because I'm a food dude when I'm in the mood. And I'm pretty much in the mood at least three times a day, if not four or five times a day. Today, we're in celebration, going to enjoy the Celebration Town Tavern. Sounds like they got half pound burgers and they got status and they got a bunch of options. Sounds delicious, looks delicious. Mike's tried it and I'm excited to give it a shot today. He thought it was pretty good. Let's check it out. Mike, you have been to Celebration Town Tavern and you've been checking out Celebration a little bit too. Are you loving this town? I really do, I really enjoy it. It's got a lot of great food, great atmosphere, you know, it's, uh... It's got some cool decorations for the holidays, which I'm looking forward to seeing. So far, I've only heard about those, but the Halloween ones I saw on that, uh, uh, I think it's Jeter Street, is really, really cool. And apparently they have holiday ones, but overall, truly enjoying it. Great small town feel. Awesome, love it. Looking forward to checking this one out here today. Let's do it. And the last time you were at Celebration Town Tavern, what did you get? Oh, uh, lobster roll. Oh, that it sounds was, good. It was good, okay. not amazing, Okay, but it was good. Oh, I also tried Gator Bites here, which were really good. Let's see how everything is. One thing I hadn't noticed previously is these lights overhead. Red and blue. And he's got this fence here. I heard possibly, maybe they do something like ice skating rink. I'm not sure about that. But you can see slight decorations starting to come up. I like it. Here it is, the Celebration Town Tavern. On our right, family, friends, and food. I got those out of order, but close enough. Let us do this outdoor bar dining and inside seating. Once we step inside, let's, let's do that. Right before we step inside, scan this in order to see the menu in advance. They have some other signage reminding you to wear your mask and let's make our way inside. Take a look at the decor around the tavern here. You can see signage and guitars, musical instruments. We did see some lobsters right here in the tank. You've got booths. You've got tables, an open feel, I like it. So once again, welcome to the Celebration Town Tavern. You got status, you got Boston favorites. I'm not really good with the accent here. But seriously, here's the menu. You've got the favorites, the starters from the garden, North Atlantic Ocean, two sides, like two chains, sandwiches, pasta, land stuff, and there's a beer menu. Not really looked much at that, but wines and beers right here on the side from margaritas other beverages. There's a 99 beer club, which I thought was interesting. Sounds like there's rewards for drinking enough beers, but I'm not gonna be taking on that challenge, at least not anytime soon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have in front of you the large fish and chips. This is five pieces of fish, and it has the french fries on the side. To the left of this dish, we have the bison burger. Indeed, one and only bison burger, you know. Bison burgers are awesome. We don't know if this one will be as good, but we'll see. You've got beans and chips here on the side on this one. It's a little bit different from the fries. They're all basic sides as opposed to one of the premium sides. This is what it looks like. So I just had a bite of the fish and chips. I'm holding my thoughts off, but David saw my thoughts. He's like, oh my gosh, I gotta try it. And we said, let me, let me record your raw reaction without trying any of it. Here we go. Here we go, fish and chips. Let you know what we think. Oh man, oh man. Let me try a little bit more. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, mmm. Fish is delicious, fantastic. One pro tip on this, try to keep the fish out of the sauce or the liquids. I've got baked beans on the plate, kind of soak up the friedness of the fish, but the batter is beautifully done. A very soft fish to bite through. Delicious, fantastic. I don't know if it's the best fish and chips ever, but it's most definitely in the top tier of fish and chips. Amazingly delicious. I also love the beans in terms of sides. That would be my favorite side is the beans. Fries are okay, chips are a bag of chips, so they're not bad, but the fish is fantastic. And the beans, definitely a winner. The burger, not bad as well, solid, but you gotta try the fish for sure. Breaking down all of the items, my favorite being the fish. I think it was the fish. I loved how it was cooked crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Not my favorite fish on the inside, but overall, really solid option. The beans probably in second place, a close second. Maple, sweet bean there, love the flavor of it. And you can use the sauce for the beans to dip your fries into. Fries would get third place for me. 
I would say they were good, but especially in the bean sauce. Sweet and delicious. Love that. And on the other hand, the bison burger. The bison burger was not bad. It was soft, enjoyable burger, but pretty standard. I didn't feel like there were too many unique flavors on this one. I think I was really expecting, not expecting, but hoping for something more along the lines of that Marion Berry to go with the bison burger at Wilderness Lodge. And the bag of chips was, it was a bag of chips. You can get it anywhere. Get it at a grocery store. So had I known that's what it was, I would have skipped it. But it wasn't bad. I mean, bag of chips aren't bad, right? Overall, great spot. I could definitely see myself coming back, trying more of those amazing items. There is a big range in terms of the amazingness of the items, but overall, I think it's a winner. Michael, your thoughts on tonight's tavern? I thought it was really good. You know, not the best food ever, but I feel like it's great quality. So I feel like I just gotta find the thing that I really love. The fish and chips, the, the way it was fried was delicious, love that. The bison burger, just as a regular burger, tasted good. Um, the beans were delicious, love the beans. I, I had the, um, the gator bites when I was here before and I love those. So I, I know that we can find some amazing flavors here. I know we can, so I'm still searching for it. But overall, Celebration Town Tavern, I do like it a lot. So overall, I give the tavern maybe an eight out of 10. I like it. I can see myself coming back for more deliciousness. We've already got Mike going somewhere non-Disney. He's only been here for a few days. Only been here for a few days. Mike Culver's, are you excited to try Culver's today? I am excited to try it. Never tried it before. Let's do this. Gonna step inside. I tried it once in Texas, told Mike how great it was and figured we'd check it out here today. Let's do it. What's going on everyone? Dave K here today at Culver's. Are you ready to see this one? Let's do it. While we're waiting in line at Culver's, you can see a similar brick structure, Culver's Winter Garden. And you can see the seating set up very similar to where I sat in Round Rock. So nice styling, familiar styling here in Culver's in Winter Garden. Um, what's the difference between the Butter Burger and the Culver's Deluxe? I will do the Culver Bacon Deluxe Double. I'm gonna do the cheese curd. Uh, I'm gonna do the pumpkin spice shake. Okay. Yes. How was that? Have you tried it? Yes, I like it and I don't like pumpkins. Okay, cool. Perfect. I love pumpkins, so. <laughs> I'm a huge Oreo. Oh, you know what? It's the Oreo. You can do salted So, Mike, to start it off, how's that water treating you there? Good. Like that, like that yeah. water? Yeah. yeah. You, uh, you were gonna get it anyways, right? Yes. And we have our shakes. Take a look. The shakes. Two shakes and not stirred. I got the pumpkin. Mike has an Oreo shake, I believe. Excited to try it. We replaced these in the meals. Total's about 11 bucks, maybe 12 bucks per meal. And you can replace the shakes for like two bucks for that soda, which I think is pretty good overall. So we're gonna give them a shot, let you know what we think. Let's do it. Tried both of those shakes. I feel like the pumpkin is truly densely pumpkin, but not too sweet. Maybe could have been a bit sweeter, and I don't say that often. I like the pumpkin shake, but I don't love it. You know I love pumpkin. So overall, I feel like they did decent on the pumpkin shake, but Mike's Oreo shake, now that is pretty delicious. I wanna say that's one of the better Oreo shakes you can get if you're looking for a delicious shake spot. So good thing Mike got that. Otherwise I would've been like, I don't know, Culver's shakes, but that one's a winner. Mike, shakes at Culver's. What do you think? I love them both. I really do. I think the pumpkin one is delicious. I, I agree with the sweetness, but this one's like the super thick shake that you love. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get that again. Here are the burgers. They look fantastic to me. Mike, what do you think? Do they look good? They look so good. Oh yeah, you've got the double burgers there. We got the same style burger. We both got those cheese curds. I think that's a dollar fifty cent upgrade from the fries. Super worthwhile in my opinion. And the marinara sauce was included. So you can get, it sounded like marinara and ranch are both options. We'll give it a shot, let you know what we think. I am pretty confident I know what I'll think, but we'll see what Mike thinks here in a moment. Mike, how are you feeling just looking at him? I'm feeling confident. I'm not quite what I was expecting to see, but taste tells all. Oh, okay. What were you expecting to see? Larger burger. Huh. Even though they're huge. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, I'm gonna try it. My thoughts on today, the burger, not as good as I remember. I remember really loving the burger. I was saying it might be the new best fast food burger, but I'm wondering if maybe last time I got the butter burger and I got the Culver's Deluxe this time. So next time, maybe I'll try the butter burger or the sourdough melt. That looks good too. This shake is better than the one I had previously. I like the flavors more, but Mike's shake is the winner in my opinion. And the cheese curds are just as delicious as I remember. This time the rankings are cheese curds, 
shake, and then burger this time. The burger didn't quite make it. The other ones, definitely come back for those and try a new burger next time. Michael, first time at Culver's, your thoughts? Good, good. The milkshake is the star winner for me. Oreo milkshake, truly incredible. Not the best Oreo milkshake I've ever had, but it's up there. It's really good. I definitely want to try more milkshakes. Cheese curds, delicious. Enjoyed those. Definitely a side worth getting. Uh, the burger was only okay. Didn't really actually care for it that much. Probably would not get it again. The butter burger, though, I'd come back for it just because the other things were so good. I want to come back for that butter burger. Compared to the milkshake from Sci Fi Dining Theater, how does this do? It's up there with it. It's totally different, though. Um, you're dealing with a, it's kind of a stronger vanilla here and chunks of Oreo rather than like a stronger Oreo mixed with vanilla there. Different. I, I like both. I like both. So you would come back for Culver's and try a new burger, but same curds and same shake. I'll maybe try a new milkshake too, because I mean the shake is so good. It's not that I don't like it, I just don't want to try new things. That makes sense. I'm looking forward to it. Now for part two of today's adventure and Mike's favorite grocery store. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Someday. Aldi. It's been a while. Let's check it out. See how it looks here. See what we can get. Starting our shopping adventure off with some cereals. So many choices. What sounds good here? You got drinks and so much more. But all these a little bit different. Things are right there on the carts, or on the cartons, on the pallets. And there's fridge sections too, in case you're looking for that. The drink section, lots of Gatorades, lots of other beverages. We got some Gatorade, let's keep going. There's Crescent Rolls and other frozen goods here. We got a can of Crescent Rolls, and we're just looking at, oh, look at this pumpkin cake roll. Oh my gosh, that'll avoid the sugars, but it's tempting. What? What are you doing there? I'm grabbing it. What are you doing with this pumpkin cake roll? No, no, what the no, heck? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Cheese by Aldi Brands, Happy Farms, and the pizza. You gotta get pizza. Look at that, when you're at Aldi, five bucks for this extra large pizza. Who doesn't want that, am I right? And so here's what we got. Everything from prosciutto to mini wheats to Gatorade. All right, a mini trip to Aldi, but a fun one. Let's do it. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun today. What did you think? of tonight's delicious adventure. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. Check in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for more videos. Stay positive, make it an amazing day. And until next time, play on. You got beans and cheese here on the side on this one. It's on the other hand, the burger would be next place for me. I thought the burger was okay. And burger at, is it Wilderness Lodge? Wilderness Lodge. So overall, I give the my thoughts on today, the burger, my thoughts on today. So next time I'll try the butter burger again, probably. So next time I'll try the butter burger deluxe, not the butter burger deluxe. <laughs>